Hello. Hopefully by this stage you have warmed up your body. If you haven't, then it is probably worth just having a look at the basic Surya Namaskar or Sun Salutation warm-up video that we have done previously. If you have and you are ready to progress, we will begin where we left off at the tops of our mat, feet hip distance apart, hands to prayer. Once again, just recalibrating with your breath. Allowing for that deep belly yogic ujjayi breath. When you're ready to inhale again, both hands rise, palms touch, high mountain gaze towards your thumb. As you exhale, forward fold whichever way you choose. Lift up halfway, inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana to exhale or straight into downward facing dog. Take your time. Downward facing dog as you roll over the toes. Give your head a little shake. Yes, no. Taking a deep breath in through the nose. And then as you exhale, press your chest towards your thighs. Upper arms, armpits are active as you roll your upper arms away from one another. Spread your fingertips wide. Middle finger faces the front of the room. Tuck the chin in just slightly. Activating your knees up towards your hips. When you're ready to take a breath in, elevating your left foot towards the sky, three-legged dog. You want to roll your left hip down so to square your hips towards the floor. You're searching for square hips rather than height. On your next breath in, lift the heel a little bit higher and then as you exhale, draw your knee in towards your nose, touch, squeeze the shin towards your chest, activate the core. When you're ready to inhale again, drawing your foot towards the space between each hand, lowering your back knee, keeping the back toe tucked, Anjaniyasana breath in, hands to rise. As you exhale, swan down the hands out to the side, finding a clasp behind your back. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> hopefully you can still see me. On your next inhale, puffing out the chest, introducing a slight back bend as you bring your gaze towards the ceiling if it's comfortable on your neck. Draw your fingertips towards the ground, strongly lowering your shoulders away from your ears. If it's un uncomfortable on your neck, draw your chin towards your chest. Take another deep breath in. As you are, exhale. When you're ready to inhale again, transferring the weight backwards, straightening out your front leg, bending into your back knee. Mindful of not drawing your buttocks towards your heels. You can keep your hands if you've got the balance, otherwise planting your fingertips up to the side. We're going to hold here one breath in through the nose. Step your exhale. When you're ready to inhale again, come forward, framing your left foot, lift your back knee, and then exhale here. Ready to inhale again, lifting your hands above your head, finding your high crescent lunge. Coming onto your back toes, so shifting your weight forward as you contain your lower ribs from jutting out in front of you, activating your deep core line. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Take a breath in. When you're ready to exhale, swan dive down. Frame your left foot. Left to right. In. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, cobra. Inhaling. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. One breath here. Release. Exhale. When you're ready to inhale again, it's the right foot up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog, rolling that right hip down, breath in, lift the foot a little bit higher. As you exhale, knee to nose, touch, squeeze, take time to plant your foot in between your hands, lower your back knee, toe is tucked, Anjaniyasana to inhale. As you exhale, cartwheel, or rather, windmill the hands.
hands down to the side, finding your non-habitual grip behind your back. Puffing out the chest, open up. Take a deep breath in, slight back bend, tucking the chin in if it's more comfortable for your neck. Breathing in, lowering the shoulders away from the ears, stay for your exhale. When you're ready to inhale again, simply transferring your weight backwards, straightening out your front leg, drawing your chest towards your mat, tucking your chin in, straight spine, lifting your clasped hands off your back, one breath in through the nose. Stay for your exhale. When you're ready to inhale again, slowly releasing the hands to frame your right foot, come forward, lift your back knee, stay, exhale. When you're ready to inhale again, lift up high crescent lunge, energy through the fingertips, shifting your weight forward, so coming onto your back tippy toes, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears, one breath in, reach up. Exhale, swan dive down, frame your right foot, right to left in, Exhale, Chaturanga, Up Dog, Cobra. Inhale, Downward Facing Dog as you exhale. One moment, breathing in through the nose. Emptying the body of breath. Exhale, bend your knees, come forward, step or float, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in half. High Mountain, breath in, hands to rise. This time as you exhale, bend the knees, open up your chest, bird wing the arms, expanding your heart center forward. Breath in, reach up, high mountain, straighten your legs. Exhale, forward fold. Sweeping the floor, this time finding your chair pose. Shifting your weight backwards so that you can see your toes, curling your pelvis towards the front of the room so you feel that stretch and activation through the lower part of your back. Softening your shoulders away from the ears. One breath in. As you exhale, release forward fold. Lift up halfway in. Step or float back through your chaturanga. Remember, this is always optional. You can move straight into downward facing dog. Once you're there, just take a moment, breathing in through the nose. Staying for your exhale. When you're ready to breathe in again, elevating your left leg towards the sky, three-legged dog. This time as you exhale, draw your heel towards your right glute, so to open up the hip. Squeezing your heel towards your glute, knee towards the ceiling, breath in. Stay for your out breath. When you're ready to breathe in again, Three-legged dog, straighten out your leg, exhale, knee to nose, touch, squeeze, hold. When you're ready to breathe in again, drawing your left knee towards your left wrist. Exhale, squeeze, compress. Inhale, lows. Exhale, squeeze, compress. One more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze, compress. When you're ready to inhale again, Three-legged dog. Knee to nose, touch out. Take time to plant your foot in between your hands. Once you're there, high crescent lunge, hands to rise. As you exhale, bird wing the arms, open up your chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, find your clasp behind your back. Next breath in, puff out the chest, open up Slight back bend, mindful of not compressing into your lower back. Breathing in, shifting your weight forward, and then as you exhale, with grace and elegance as much as possible, finding your warrior three, keep the hands. So elevating your right heel towards the ceiling, lifting your chest, tucking your chin in just slightly, will hold. Steadying your focus. Slowing down the breath as much as you can. Breathing in through the nose one last time. When you're ready to exhale, micro bend your left knee, drawing your right knee forwards, grounding the foot at the top of the mat, fold in half to exhale. Drawing your clasped hands towards the front of the room. Tuck your chin in, just enjoy the release in the shoulder area. 
steadying the breath once again. One more breath in through the nose. When you're ready to exhale, release the hands down towards the mat, halfway lift in. When you're ready to exhale, step your left leg back, right leg up, three-legged dog. Good. Opening up the hip as you exhale. Heel towards your left glute. Gaze underneath your right armpit if it's comfortable for you. Stay for your breath in. Exhale as you are. When you're ready to inhale again, three-legged dog, straighten out your legs, square the hips, exhale, knee to nose, touch. When you're ready to breathe in again, simply lower your knee towards your right wrist. Exhale, squeeze, compress. Inhale to lower. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lowers. Exhale, squeeze. When you're ready to inhale again, lift up three legs. Knee to nose, touch, exhale. Take time to plant your foot. Once you're there, on your fingertips, high crescent lunge. Lift the hands, burning the arms, open up the chest. Exhale, breath. Energy through the fingertips. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, swan dive the hands out to the side. Non-habitual grip behind your back. Puffing out the chest, slight back bend to inhale. As you are, exhale. When you're ready to inhale again, rock forward and then exhaling. Finding your warrior three stance, keeping the hands, lifting your heel, lifting the chest, tucking the chin in just slightly will hold. Dorsi flexing your floating toes, micro bend your standing knee. One more breath in through the nose. As you are, exhale. Bending your front knee and then drawing a bent left knee in towards your chest, taking time to plant your foot at the top of your mat. Release, forward fold, drawing your chest towards your thighs, tucking your chin in. It helps to bend your knees a lot to release the lower back. Straightening out the legs, isolates the hamstrings. We'll hold two full rounds of breath. Just enjoying the stretch of the back line of your body. Release your hands on your necks. Exhale, framing your feet. Halfway left in. Exhale, forward fold. When you're ready to inhale again, Utkatasana, chair pose, sweep the floor, lifting your hands. Framing your ears with your upper arms, sending your tailbone backwards, curling your pelvis towards the front of the room. I like to lift my toes so to activate fully through my legs. Taking a breath in through the nose. When you're ready to exhale, release forward fold, taking hold of opposite elbows and just rolling side to side in your rag doll. Doing what is comfortable for you and your body. One more breath in through the nose. When you're ready to exhale, release your hands. High mountain breath in, both hands rise. Slowly stack the vertebra. And then as you exhale, fold in half, whichever way you choose. Lift up halfway in. Chaturanga of your choice, out or straight into downward facing dog. Take your time. Good. Just to build some strength in the upper part of our body, particularly the shoulders, the upper arms. When you're ready to exhale again, we'll lower the elbows towards the mat simultaneously. So breathing in through the nose. When you're ready to exhale slowly with control, lowering the elbows towards the mat, hovering. Inhale, lift up, straighten the arms. Exhale, lowers. Inhale, lift up, straighten the arms. Exhale, lowers. Three more rounds at your own pace. Inhaling to lift up and straighten. Exhale to lower. Inhale. 
exhale to lower one more round inhale exhale to lower downward facing dog inhale exhale to settle into your dog pose option to rest in child's pose just for a moment before we move on closing your eyes just to tune into the subtle body the energy as it moves around the body with the breath when you're ready to move on with us we meet in the downward facing dog when you're ready to breathe in again elevating your right foot up towards the ceiling three-legged dog knee to nose touch with control exhale inhale three legs out to the left hand side touch hold setting up fallen triangle by extending the right leg out to the side lifting the pelvis lifting your left arm up and towards the front of the room hold breath in when you're ready to exhale lower your left hand three-legged dog slowly with control exhale over towards the right hand side touch hold kundanyasana that's in your practice when you're ready to move on with us three-legged dog in breath knee to nose touch out take time to plant your foot setting up warrior one back foot is 45 degrees bending into your front knee lifting your arms above your head begin by squaring your hips drawing the right hip backwards left hip forwards grounding firmly through the outside blade of your left foot energy through the fingertips breath in when you're ready to exhale, swan dive your hands out to the side, find your clasp. Puffing out the chest, inhale, open up. When you're ready to exhale, lean with your heart center, squaring the shoulders towards the mat. Tuck your chin in, drawing your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee. Humble warrior, as you bow down, you should feel a beautiful stretch in the right glute the hips, the pelvic area as you keep drawing your left hip forward. Two full rounds of deep belly breath. When you're ready to breathe in again, keep the hands, simply lift the torso. Warrior one feet, release the hands. Warrior one hands, breath in. When you're ready to exhale, straightening out your front leg, bending into your back knee, skandhasana. Breath in, shift your skandhasana towards the back of your mat. Do whatever is comfortable with your hands. When you're ready to inhale, low lunge towards the back of your mat, lifting your right heel. Grounding your hands, think three-legged dog, left leg up. Knee to nose, touch, exhale, squeeze, compress. Inhale, three legs. Cross your midline over towards the right armpit, touch, squeeze, setting up fallen triangle. This time extending your left leg out to the side, lifting the pelvis, right hand up and towards the front of the room. Mindful of not dumping into your left shoulder, breath in. Release your hand towards the mat, exhale, left leg to rise three legs in over towards the left hand side touch hold kundanyasana if that's in your practice we hold when you're ready to move on with us it's an inhale three-legged dog knee to nose touch squeeze exhale take time to plant your foot in between your hands set up warrior one feet hands to rise in breath Grounding firmly through the outside blade of your right foot. Draw your right hips forward, left hip back. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe, breath in. When you're ready to exhale, it's non-habitual grip behind your back. Puffing out the chest, open up, slight back bend. When you're ready to exhale, lead with your heart center. Humble warrior, bow down, fold in heart. Tuck the chin in. Think straight spine, so extending through the crown of your head. Breath. 
let's say, strong pose, but can be softened with the use of our deep belly breathing. One more round. Keeping the hands, exhale, and then when you're ready to inhale, simply lift the torso, use the core, release the hands, warrior one, breath in, skandhasana as you exhale. Inhale, switch the side. Exhale to settle, and then when you're ready to inhale, low lunge towards the top of your mat, ground your hands, right foot to left, inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale, up dog, cobra, in, downward facing dog, as you exhale, take a moment, breathing in through the nose, stay for your exhale, chest to thighs, wrap your upper arms away from one another, two full rounds as you recalibrate with your breath. Emptying the body of breath, bending the knees, stepping or floating 45 degree feet to either hand. Bringing your hands to prayer, drawing your elbows in towards your knees as you simultaneously draw your pelvis forward, lifting up and out from the sacral area. Softening your shoulders away from the ears, malasana or the goddess squat. Blinking your eyes closed, we'll hold here. Option to move into crow pose if you know where you're going. If not, then you'll have to watch video three. Namaste, thank you for joining.